Howdy, 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 my beautiful Capricorn. How are you doing, darling? My name is Simply Velka, and let's get into your weekly tarot reading today, Capricorn, for August, all right? We're going to get into three rows for you today, darling. Your first row, we're going to be talking about Capricorn, the person that's on your mind right now, honey. All right, could be platonic, could be romantic, darling, could be family or business related. All I know is it's not my business to know what type of relationship it is, Capricorn. And then in your third row, or third row, second row here, Capricorn, we're going to be talking about what y'all need to hear at this time, all right? Could be just serving as an affirming message message for some of you guys or it could be also giving you some guidance all right letting you know what you should be doing for your next step all right and then in your third row capricorn we're going to be talking about some predictions for you while the future is never solid darling if you continue down the path that you have been going i can make some pretty solid connections of what's going to be happening for you all right but let's start out this energy here capricorn with your overall major arcana for the week here which is the high priestess be sure to check out your someone rising as well as your venus sign all right the high priestess card coming in here all right uh, Capricorn, this lets me know when it comes in this dynamic here, the high priestess Capricorn, you are you are aware about something before it happens here. All right. And so you may not be able to bring some type of show, like some type of physical evidence about what's going on. But listen to your gut instinct here. This is not you overthinking things, Capricorn. And plus, I would be the first one to let you know, Capricorn, if it's just like, all right, be careful about the delusions, darling. All right. But I really feel like in this dynamic here, like you're aware about what how some is going to be playing out and lean into that instinct more all right and a social dynamic here capricorn especially due to what i'm seeing in your rose here i see this more so in a way where it's just like listen to your intuition about that connection here because i feel like it could pay off and i'm more so of like a career oriented or goal oriented here i feel like you guys want to be taking a risk by leading with your intuition on something exuding kind of that uh that full energy Capricorn, all right? Exude more of that full energy. Take the risk because the risk is going to pay off, all right? So let's get into the person that's on your mind today, Capricorn. See what's good, what's popping with you in regards to that there, all right? Be sure to give this video a like and subscribe, Capricorn, as well, if you enjoy this tarot reading. It's completely free and it helps me out. So y'all have this Hierophant here, Six of Pentacles with this Death card coming in here, Capricorn, all right? I feel like this is, this, this is like a message here, Capricorn, where it's like someone that you let go of or maybe you just stopped trying with Capricorn this is giving me a sense of where it's like the them coming back from the past speaking about oh I've changed I want to work on this I want to do the improvements that were the uh do improvements on the things that were the problem right whatever the problem was maybe they were not respecting you Capricorn maybe they weren't trying in terms of communicating like whatever the case is that's your business honey y'all don't need to air it out on the internet for the public to see right but I feel like this is like a connection I mean I say the connection here because this is Hierophant Hierophant gives me like an energy of where it's just like family member long-term friend long-term relationship that you had with someone you have a history with them right this isn't just like some stranger off the road this isn't just like billy bob joe that you work with and barely talk to or anything this is like a connection that y'all have a history with there was some level of commitment had that tied you two together there and i feel like when it comes with this high priestess energy here whether whether you're seeing this from a way where it's just like have they actually changed what does your intuition say capricorn all right obviously i don't want to say that they've changed for the better for you just because it's like i'm a i'm an optimist by nature right that's how i have been able to survive in this world capricorn is by being an optimist i always try to see the best in people but that's probably also how i ended up joining cults is because i do that but Capricorn, all I can say, <laughs> listen to your intuition about this. Don't listen to me. Listen to your intuition about this. What they're saying to you, does it feel legit? And ask you, make sure you're separating your intuition from your emotions, all right? You may, your emotion wise, you may want to just tell this person to screw off, right? But intuition wise, you're just like, mm, how do they, you know, you just feel it out a little bit here, all right? That's the biggest thing when it comes to listening to your intuition is knowing when to separate like your intuition from your emotions and that human aspect right so i do personally see because of that six of pentacles there i mean especially even with the haynes man capricorn all right i know i know what i just said here capricorn all right about <laughs> giving people chances here but this hanged man you know the hanged man is the complete 180 right even though some tarot readers will say 360 when that don't make no sense but um the 180 here this is a shift complete drastic shift in their perspective of how they see things right the hanged man has a new perspective on the world due to life events that got them to that position there but they didn't get to that position capricorn 
until like the dramas and the chaos happened until like the death card came in when it came to the situation here capricorn right and so i do see i mean based off of the tarot cards let's pull some clarifiers on this capricorn but i do personally see that this person like it's like that sense of like you cause you are the catalyst of change when it comes to this person here capricorn by having put an ending ha by putting an end to this if you have it if you unless you girl i can't say by putting an end to this or if you haven't i would say put an end to this or put up some strong boundaries with this because that is going to be what is the catalyst for change because otherwise i don't see things ha things changing yeah wheel of fortune card coming in here no i will say capricorn right the wheel of fortune it can be turning against you or it can be turning for you with the wheel of fortune coming in here depending on the dynamic here you know the wheel of fortune let's just say when it comes to this person they were just really toxic they weren't trying so hard whatever the case is right you put those descriptions on those person and them coming back in this is you like this card is letting you know that the wheel of fortune is turning in a different way here so we're consistently getting all these signs here capricorn about how this person is coming in with a new perspective with a new understanding here all right and it's based off of that initial conflict all right so don't allow whatever conflict or whatever happened prior sour how things could potentially go in the future here right because sometimes capricorn people are just extremely stubborn we're all guilty of it all right just just like you just like me honey i'm talking about myself as well sometimes we need to be hit with a brick on our head to wake up and be, be like it's like oh wait a minute i'm the drama i'm the problem you know i'm not saying you are the problem but i feel like this person doesn't didn't have an awareness about what would like what caused the problems or they were not taking it seriously until it actually was impacting them all right not excusing the behavior at all but i do see this as a sense of where it's like i don't get manipulative from this anyways i don't get manipulative from this and then it's all based off of the six of swords it's where it's like you're walking away the story is writing itself here because four cups energy i feel so passionate about the four cups energy capricorn because it, the artwork depicts about a person sitting under a tree arms crossed eyes closed representing that they're closed off to anything they're not open to a different perspective or a different viewpoint or anything capricorn right and so if they were willing to shift that perspective right if this put if this person right here was willing to shift their perspective instead of this current their current situation there and she just shifted her perspective to the complete she did a 180 not a 360 because she'd still be looking the same way but did a 180 right and started looking in this direction here capricorn she would see that cup being filled and so all the cards in this way here capricorn line up in the sense of where it's through you walking away it's through that initial distance maybe no communication what have you that caused for this person to start changing and improving themselves so at least in the tarot cards here capricorn i see that this person has changed but ultimately capricorn what does your intuition tell you your intuition not your pettiness not your emotions your intuition all right so, and then don't uh, this isn't a sign maybe you're just done with this connection here and that's fine capricorn that's completely fine even if someone has changed that doesn't mean that you know that's what i want to really point out just because someone has changed capricorn doesn't mean that you are that you have to take them back into your life you know maybe after that distance you're just like you know what i just don't want to i don't have the energy to talk to you anymore i don't have the energy to connect with you anymore right no hard feelings but it's what is done is done you know so just because they've changed doesn't mean does that doesn't take away or change anything about how you emotionally feel about them you may not be ready yet just because they've changed that's great and fabulous but maybe you need more time maybe you just don't you know whatever the case is so i'm just trying to preface that capricorn because i always get it without fail someone in the comments saying she's like oh this person was abusive to me velka how dare you da, 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 da. girl i don't know you obviously this person was abusive why are you why are you even thinking about them <laughs> you know <laughs> let's be real here so i want to just clarify that and sometimes people need to hear that as well because sometimes people will apologize i've noticed capricorn and they just expect you to take them back and if you don't they're just like oh you're still angry da, 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 da. and it's like no i'm not angry i just am indifferent about you now like you were part of my life at one point now that you were separated i was able to just heal and move on and now i realize that i don't actually like you or maybe you just don't even have emotions you know so let's get into uh what you need to hear today capricorn y'all have here the three of cups as well as the wands three of wands there 
and then eight of pentacles coming in for you all right for those capricorns that have been debating on like some of you guys have been like sitting on an idea uh capricorn where you're just like you've been seeing all the signs right from the outside world maybe for example you've been thinking about starting like your own business you know maybe you've been thinking about uh putting energy into a type of project right because you've been seeing signs on like you know different social medias or something like that that has inspired you and you're just like you know what i could do something like this you know maybe it's tarot for example you're just like you know what i kind of feel drawn to doing tarot y'all have been seeing all these signs but it's like you guys haven't taken action on it capricorn and i'm just sitting here i'm just like girl why you know three of cups energy is like you could be really successful at this if you were to put energy into this right the six three of cups that's a card of where it's like celebrating right that's a card of victory accomplishing things and so it's like especially with that three of wands there it's like y'all have always seen all these affirming signs where it's just like where you realize that your path is leading you to do certain things or living your life in certain ways but you haven't taken action on it you've been doubting your intuition that high priestess energy darling i did tell you capricorn this is influencing all three rows so you're going to keep on seeing this card here all right you have you've received the intel of what it is that you need to do next capricorn but some of you guys are just lacking the bravery or just doubting yourself too much for actually just fully taking the action on it here's again letting you know if you were to take action on it and actually acknowledge these things acknowledge these signs you would it would be a cause for celebration for you here all right magician energy it's interesting all three earth signs got this card here capricorn all right what i'm noticing just what's been going on astrologically right now this is a time of experimentation, Capricorn. This is a time of where it's like, if one thing doesn't work, try something else, all right? And some of you guys, Capricorn, maybe have been too stuck on focusing in on like how you've always done things and you're afraid of experimenting a little bit. And I feel like that would be doing yourself a disservice there. You know what it is that you need to do. <laughs> you know, High Priestess. So just start taking action on it. Feel it out more, all right, Capricorn? Haynes man coming in here with the five of swords here five of swords kept on popping out in the shuffle that was screaming out to me so i'm not really surprised that i'm seeing this for you capricorn all right when i see this five of swords energy in this way this lets me know where it's just like maybe there's like this anxiety because you have to change up your routine greatly um to do these changes or you know especially with that 180 that 180 i keep on talking about the 180 now um, especially with this hanged man here capricorn it's like some of you guys don't want to take the risk or you're afraid of doing these changes because it's just like maybe there's like the sense of like no going back or just you know you're afraid of you like you that if you do these changes that it wouldn't be profitable for you right it'd be a waste of time but the eight of pentacles by definition it's known as the card of like going back to school capricorn you know, some of you guys might be thinking about switching your major and stuff like that. But, you know, taking out the going back to school because we already know that college is a scam ultimately and you don't need to go to college to change your career path or what have you. You take it on its literal sense of just like going up in the ranks, but doing the research and doing the work necessary to go up in the ranks there. Or at least that's how I see the Eight of Pentacles, right? And this is really your time to evolve here, Capricorn. All right. You can't continue doing the same things that you always have done that have served you in the past year because it's time for for something new it's time for a breath of fresh air stop being so afraid of taking these risks here capricorn all right i want to do one last card for this here two of pentacles for some of you guys this is a sign to like lessen your time a little bit for what you've been making right let's just say for for example you've never been able to like make a pick a project up off the ground because your your job is taking up too much of your time but so that by the time you get home you're not able to um put any time into your projects right i feel like for you capricorn it would be worth the sacrifice cut some of your hours capricorn if you can or find ways to make the time maybe you need to lose sleep there is some type of sacrifice that you need to make capricorn initially some type of sacrifice to get your uh get some some skin in the game and then after you do that it's going to pay off and so i acknowledge especially in this time for, um in the times that we are in right now like things are just so stressful so the climate of everything it's spooky right and so i'm not telling you to just like do drastic changes in your life immediately but don't be afraid of trying out different things because again i just see the sense of how it's going to pay off in tenfold if you were to do that capricorn all right so excuse me while i take that time stamp but darling capricorn and let's get into your predictions this week here see what's going to be happening for you you guys have this knight of pentacles nine and queen of swords coming in here all right 
So here's the thing, Capricorn. I feel like you guys have been just in this learning phase for so long. Some of you Capricorns have been doing so much research on, um, you know, certain, you know, jobs that you want to be doing, how to start like a YouTube channel, how to create your own business. You like, you've done all the research that you needed to do Capricorn. Like, I feel like in your headspace, you're intelligent enough to know what it is that you need to do. But then there's always been like this sense for you, Nine of Swords, where you're just like, oh, what if I'm not ready yet? I don't, I need to learn more. It's like Capricorn, at this point in time, the only way that you're going to learn more is by actually doing, you know, stop, you know, I need to call out some of you guys on this perfectionism that you guys are kind of exuding in this reading here. Capricorn um, where it's just like you don't want to put something out unless it's your best and a quote that has always stuck with me Capricorn is just because it's not your best doesn't mean it's not worth being seen I'm going to say it again just because something is not your best doesn't mean it's not worthy of being seen so if you've been holding back on doing a YouTube channel for example because you don't feel like you have the perfect setup you don't like your equipment or whatever you want something to be perfect before you put it out that's just an excuse to stay comfortable Knight of Pentacles is that sense of where it's like it's a corny message but it's just like enjoy the journey not the destination all right if i waited until i did my youtube channel until i liked my setup i wouldn't be doing youtube <laughs> videos until just recently this is just now the first time that i don't mind my background nowadays even still could have some improvements with half my head being cut off here but i want to have y'all see me right capricorn and so that's what i want y'all to know it's just like don't be afraid to experiment don't be afraid of trying something new and just because it's not your best it doesn't mean it's not worthy of being seen because something that's not even your best could be someone else's like the best like something that they could never even uh, fathom of accomplishing right just because you have extremely high standards of yourself doesn't mean everyone else around you has that same standard all right and the world card coming in here in the back of the deck for you. I don't know. I feel like this is the time of change here, Capricorn. Honestly here, this is like a question I want to ask you. It's just like, how much longer are you wanting to just have these excuses be more valuable than the dream life that you're wanting to manifest, right? Is it do you would is it better for you to just fall back on these excuses being like, oh, I don't know how, I don't have the perfect equipment or what have you. Is that more valuable to you to feed your ego than to just, you know, skin your, uh, skin your knee a couple of times when you're trying to learn to ride the bike you know like when are you going to prep, put pride to the side for your dreams all right because really for you capricorn i see those who choose to take risks for i see those who choose to sac make a sacrifice for something new that's where the payout is going to happen some of you guys keep on banging your head against a brick wall doing the same thing that has always served you from before in the past thinking it's going to give you a different result and this is like it's a time it's a new day darling all right time for you to experiment time for you to broaden your horizons here capricorn sure it may not pay off initially but in the long run and um on this journey knight of pentacles it will pay off here all right king of wands energy here as well some of you guys whatever this is this comes like this comes in in the sense where it's like what it is that you do garners attention from other people and maybe that's where the pressure is is like you don't want to let other people down but you're not going to let other people down if anything you're going to inspire them because they see you on your journey all right i always say is this like you don't want to come onto youtube for example having the perfect setup perfect audio and all that because people like to see growth all right if you came in having the perfect setup and all that not to say that you wouldn't grow capricorn but there's not that attachment there's there's something uh, you know you can ask my regulars capricorn there's something endearing about seeing someone grow and progress um with their channel and all that so keep that energy with yourself give yourself the grace and your experience and how you give grace to other people that you love in your life all right because i feel like you're being so critical on yourself when you really shouldn't be all right trust your intuition all right trust your intuition high priestess energy capricorn all right so that's the weekly tarot reading that I have for you today. Capricorn, let me know how this resonates. Give this video a like and subscribe to support this channel. It helps me out and it's completely free. And I'll be connecting with you sometime in the near future. All right. I love you so much, Capricorn. Bye, darling.